How does an organism maintain homeostasis through the interaction of various organ systems in the body? But first, let us know what homeostasis is. Homeostasis is a self-regulating process that keeps the body in ideal internal conditions. In humans, maintaining homeostasis is possible because of the homeostatic mechanisms. These mechanisms are each composed of three general components, namely a receptor, a control center, and an effector. The receptor detects a change in the environment called as a stimulus. It also compares the change from the normal state and sends signals to the control center. The control center determines if a response is needed and what specific response should be employed. The effector is where the response is created in order to counter the initial stimulus and in return, maintaining homeostasis. Here's an example. The normal body temperature in humans ranges between 36.1 to 37.2 degrees Celsius. If thermoreceptors detect that the body is beyond the normal temperature, it sends signals to the control center. The control center then tells effectors what to do. Effectors do certain things in order to lower the body temperature. One of those things is to release sweat, and that is the reason why we sweat when we feel hot. Besides temperature, homeostasis also maintains nutrient concentration, acidity, water, calcium, sodium, oxygen, blood pressure, heart rate, and respiratory rate in the body. Homeostasis Romeo Stasis